Hello and welcome to another edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which was the Mary Celeste. That's All the right. questions we're answering <laughs> today came from you guys yeah, via our BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook, Facebook page, our BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram, Instagram page, or directly on the video on Bond. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to say we almost harmonized there, but we absolutely did not. Well, I mean, I was setting my tone. Okay, you take it. On bone! Well, you're changing pitch as you say it. Pick a pitch. Hey, look, I'm not a pitch pipe. On bone! On It sort of sounds like a microwave. We could take that on the road. Yeah, dude. we could. That's pretty fucking 2025. good. 2025. Yeah. Check your cows. Boat. Big boat. <laughs> huh? I saw someone in the comments asking if we uh, had ever seen the movie Ghost Ship, and I'm pretty sure we. We mentioned that on set and they cut it out. We spent like 15 minutes talking about that movie. One of the most gnarly opening sequences to a film I think I've ever seen. And I don't, th I don't think that's hyperbolic no. either. I don't know that I've ever seen the rest of the movie, but I've seen that opening scene. Yeah. I've seen the rest of the movie. How's, it, how's it do? Okay. It doesn't stack sort up. Sort of in the an first up 10. situation. They get just, you in the first five okay, and then just you take it easy. Squander over all there. their goodwill with a big bird named no Kevin. No one. If you were closer, I'd throw this hot tea on you. Oh, I guess it's a good thing. I'm it's all, a good the way over here. all the way over here. <laughs> Social distancing is saving him in more ways than one. The film opens with a wire over a dance floor that snaps and it like whips like a bull whip, like a giant yeah, bull whip like, like, across yeah. a wedding dance floor and it cuts everyone in half. And there's this little girl. Doesn't it cut her head off? No, I thought she just sees everyone. Because it's one of those things where it happens. She's dancing and then with everyone, her. Everyone just stops. Yeah, she's doing that thing where she's that cute little girl thing where she's dancing with her grandpa or her grandma or something on the dance yeah, floor. It's gnarly. And man. then her, her grandma just falls apart. Yeah. Anyways, I recommend watching it. It's on YouTube. Okay, our first question comes from Facebook. Emily Miller, hashtag postmortem. Did you guys consider some type of mass hysteria situation? I imagine long sea journeys could do something to your mental health. Maybe the ship was abandoned voluntarily in that manner since nothing was out of place? I actually didn't consider that. That's a really good point. Yeah, it's possible. I guess they could have all just got in a line and walked the plank in unison and just fell into the ocean. Who knows what happens out at sea? Did you they get sea crazy. I don't think they had a plank. I don't, yeah, I'm gonna guess most places didn't have an actual plank. That's gotta be mostly a cartoon thing, right? Or like a movie, I'm sure there was a plank. Well, I guess ship. a plank is also beyond making people jump from the plank. They probably have some sort of plank to, like if you get a ship next to you. I'm just realizing that planks may have more purpose than making yeah, people as walk. as a way to board another as ship. As a board another ship. It seems very stupid to have this arbitrary piece of wood sticking out as just a punitive measure. Yeah. So. Do you think ever anyone ever did a funny little dive off? Like, yeah. Ooh, woo! Oh, like a cannonball? Cannonball! Yeah. <laughs> if I'm gonna go, go out and die in the sea, I might as well do it in style. That sucks. I mean, because yeah, realistically, to die you in don't the sea? need the plank. You could just be like, jump over or throw you over. Yeah. I guess it's the humiliation of it. I like, suppose. You gotta walk. This is not, we're not even gonna make, well, we are gonna make you. You know that sphere. Vegas hotel, the Stratosphere? They have that roller coaster that goes over the edge and it just has you sit there. Oh, I don't want that. That's scary. So I don't maybe like the plank that. is the same thing. You're kind of like, yeah. they torture you mentally a little bit. It could be. And maybe, oh, now I get it. So they put you out on the plank, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you're gonna jump off that. You're out there on the edge. Maybe you weren't giving them a little info. And now you're gonna give them that info because it's you're like when you when you oh, hold right, a guy out a window by his legs. Exactly. Yeah. Like Batman did for uh, Maroni. What did he say to him? Hey, from one professional to another, a fall from this height wouldn't kill me. Oh yeah, and then he just I'm drops him. <laughs> Let's go to Instagram. This comes from b.n.w underscore w. My husband at Frisky Wolf. Oh. And I think it could have been an inside job. Maybe Briggs, an investor in a chronically broke-ass ship, was just over it after 18 years. So he schemed with the De Gratia captain and sailed to Europe with them, hoping to receive part of the insurance and start new lives. Mr. and Mrs. Shaniac. It's possible it was an inside job. I posited that it might be pirates from the inside. I don't know much about insurance fraud. I don't know how it works. I barely understand my own insurance. You gotta say like, my car got hit, or I got, oh, I, oh, I got hit by a car. Give me money. You, ins insurance, you pay me now, because I have a, one of those neck 
phrases, right? Is that how it works? I don't know if it's as easy as that. That sounds like something that John Raffio would do in Parks and Rec. 100%. I think that was the gist of it. Or his sister. Yeah. Money, please. Money, please. <laughs> it's funny. Let's go to YouTube. Gabby Phillips says, uh, hashtag postmortem, could the crew have been attacked by sirens going along with theory four? Oh. An octopus slash squid sea monster would cause more damage than found. But sirens could have lured the crew onto the lifeboat and bam, dinner on a plate. Anyway, oh, anywho, love you guys. Much more like a burrito, I would say, you know? More like a taco, like a canoe full of humans. Oh, a canoe. Are they eating the boat as well? Maybe. I thought sirens like lured you to an island. No, they drag you under the water. So the siren's mermaid? Essentially, yeah. Many a sailor has fallen for the siren song. Um, so it's possible if sirens are real. They're not. How do you know? Because they're not, they're a make-believe thing. You are, That's you... like saying, well, if uh, uh, genies are real. Okay, it's not as ridiculous as yes, that. Yes, it is. Is it? You, you mean to assume you know every organism that's in the ocean? There, you're telling me there's a creature who can hypnotize people with their song? I think if there's any don't, creature that's you... crazy that we don't comprehend, it would be in the ocean. There's no creature that hypnotizes sailors with their song. How much of the ocean is undiscovered at this point? A lot. Like what, 70% more, 90? I'm not entertaining this. I just think it's weird that you're thinking, ah, no, nah, no, no, that, of that course. couldn't exist. That couldn't that's exist. That's like saying leprechauns. Yeah, but that's not as grounded in reality because leprechauns are land-based <laughs> organisms. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm curious, how much of the sea is, un, uh, is undiscovered at this point? More than the moon. So what is the, what's the guff then? Um, because you're saying like, well, look, they haven't explored the sea. Maybe there's magic down there. Not magic. Yes. Not magic. Yes. No, not magic. There's no fucking mermaids, dude. Hey, dude, I don't think there's a mermaid or a thing that's going to hypnotize you with a song, but if you have like... That a, is what you're saying. I have a different interpretation of a siren. I what is a siren? It makes a funny little noise, and you're like, what the hell is that noise? And as soon as you put your head over the... Just, ah, so you, you every time say, what the hell is that noise, and look in, and then what does it look like? I don't think it looks like a mermaid, but I think there could be some kind of... I mean, fucking fish use sonar. You don't think there was a fish out there that could create funny little you noises? You believe in mermaids. I don't believe in mermaids. It sounds like you believe in mermaids. I just believe that there's probably crazy shit underwater that we don't know about. There's not. There are. But it's all like, you know, coral. And, Want to uh, take a guess how anemones. much of the ocean has been explored? Uh, 15%. 5%. Okay. That means 95% of the ocean, we don't know what's in there. It ain't fucking mermaids. I don't think it's mermaids either. I'm you do not... think it's mermaids! You mistake me not ruling something out as believing it hardcore. There's a difference. I just assume, I don't presume to know There's what's no in sirens. the ocean. There's no sirens. Well, that, that's, that's very close-minded of you. That's fine. All right, let's go to, uh, <laughs> let's go to Instagram user Arabella underscore 4155. Hashtag postmortem. <laughs> if you were a pirate, what would your pirate names and trademark move slash symbol slash calling card be? Let's start with the name. That might be an easier place to start with. What's your pirate name? Kraz. Osh. Kraz. Baskets. Two hours later. Kra <laughs> Kraz. He's still just going. Kraz. Kraz. Kraz, Kraz baskets. I want people to hear my name and be like. Kraz baskets. Kraz baskets. Oh, he's a pirate. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed that because his name is Kraz Baskets. I guess you did skim over like the obvious ones like Madman Madea. I don't want that. I don't want, I want to be Kraz Baskets. I'd have a ferret. I enjoy the, the typical pirate name, so I'm not gonna make my name something in the vein of Kraz Baskets. It's Why not? Because I want to instill fear in the people that encounter what me. What if something's Swedish or something like Jürgen Schvelmore? No, I think I'm gonna just go with uh, Bootstrap Bergara and on my bootstraps are gonna be the teeth of every person I've killed. Jesus Christ. You're not gonna see that kind of behavior from crass baskets. I'm gonna change it. Bootstrap Bergara is not that, it's good, it's a good alt, but I'm gonna go with Bloodhound Bergara. And that way when I kill people, I could rip their nose off while they're still alive. Are you gonna rip it or are you gonna bite it? I'm gonna rip it off. You should bite it like the penguin. No, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. Like this, with these two fingers, and just rip it off. And then you say, got your nose. I got your nose. Oh, I got your nose. And then you just 
No, I'm not gonna eat, eat it. it. I'm gonna, gonna make it, in, it. No, I'm gonna make it into a funny little necklace, and I'll wear all the noses of everyone I've killed. This is grim. Uh, I'm moving along. Oh, YouTube, Lila Phillips. I'm not saying this is what happened, but I like the idea of the nine empty barrels of alcohol actually holding nine stowaways, Trojan horse style, and they took over the ship. Yeah, I like funny. that. Just them, a little barrel like this. Here's just, a well, comes yeah, out. but Great. you're you're checking on those barrels pretty regularly, right? I mean, if you have several barrels, I don't think I'm going to be. Are you checking them for humans, is what you're saying, or no, I'm just? I'm saying you're just cracking those it. things open, like, ooh, need a little whiskey, need some rice, need some uh, porridge, some oats, whatever. I don't know what they keep in barrels. Can you imagine you go over to crack that barrel to see how that whiskey's holding up? You go over there, there's a little hole up top, and you're like, hey, I'll just ladle some out from this hole. Yeah. You go down there, and as you look at the hole, you just see an eyeball looking at you. It blinks. I'd poke it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, they're in a barrel at that point. They're yeah. not going to be, you know. They're not very, oh, what if they have a pistol held up to the top like this? I don't know. I think you're at a, uh, quite a disadvantage. You're, you're at a barrel. disadvantage for sure. A Rage 726 for the hashtag postmortem since there's a bit of maritime theme going on this season. Would you rather live alone in the lighthouse on Flandon Island or live on the Mary Celeste as it's floating in the sea. 100% the lighthouse. The sea is very scary. Do you get seasick on a ship that's like I rocking? don't know. I don't know that I've ever been out at sea long enough to really know if I get seasick. I've never like... been on a cruise. I'd get tired of sea life, I think. You can't man a ship by yourself. There's too many no. jobs. No. Who's going uh, to swab the deck? Who's going to get the plank planky? Also, I love to go for a nice morning constitutional, you know? Nice to take a little walk around. Oh, I thought that was like a dump or something. No, it's not, Ryan. <laughs> It really isn't. <laughs> well, I think that does it. I think we've we've talked at length about many things here. Uh, Ryan, I have a question. Yeah. What's coming up on the season finale of BuzzFeed Unsolved True Crime season seven? It's a fun one. It's a, it's a tale. It's a true crime tale, but it's also supernatural, but it's also true crime. Yeah, this has a, a tasty little mix. It's like a little, it's like a little bowl of chicks mix. Well, I guess that does it for this episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. Make sure you watch the episode this Friday. and The then season finale! Your, the season finale. Make sure you watch the season finale this Friday and then send in your questions to the BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page, the BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page, or you know what? You could just comment yeah, directly on the video and the video. Uh, uh, on, on bun, bun, on bun, and then well, maybe and you'll maybe be on the next episode movies. of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. <laughs> you know? Yeah.